I want to start by saying that my heart is in total and absolute joy for being able to share this personal story with all of you, knowing that my, my belief was that what I am going to share could happen to anybody except to me. So it was in November 2018 when I started studying Dr. Joe's teachings and reading his books and doing his meditation. So in February of 2019, I just went to the doctor to practice, uh, you know, the routine exams that I usually take every year. Part of the exams were mammography and an echo um, in both breasts. They found that in my left breast, there was some irregular cellular symptom that was related to some type of cancer. The protocol that the doctors gave me was that I needed to go through chemo, through radiotherapy, and through surgery. Hearing that diagnosis left me totally devastated. In that moment, it, I was in front of a lifetime decision either to follow the protocol of the doctors and the clinic or to follow Dr. Joe's guidelines and teachings. So my, my choice was to continue doing the meditations. I declined doing the surgery and starting with the chemo and the radiotherapy. I continue studying Dr. Joe's teachings with the certainty that that was my path to healing. I started having this battle with myself, with all this sort of thoughts like, oh, you, you, if you don't treat yourself, you're going to die. And then the fear of death appeared. And then the fear of a possible metastasis appeared. And all those sort of thoughts that were coming in every second, every second. And then I remember Dr. Joe's um, message saying, whenever this happens, you say, stop. So we already, by that time, we had already decided to attend the next week-long, which was in Cancun. My meditation practice before the week-long event was meditating in the morning and meditating in the evening. Then throughout the day, I was always playing in that battle between my thoughts and the change. Um, I didn't share this story with anybody. I didn't share the diagnosis, not even with my family, because I knew that I needed to keep my energy up and that by sharing this with my daughters and with everyone, they would probably bring this sense of hopelessness into the space, and I was sure I did not want that. So the, the date for the Cancun week long was coming, and that produced a lot of stress within me because all my hopes were in Dr. Joe. And what if nothing happened? I would have to assume the responsibility. So Thursday, that Thursday before flying to Cancun, my body started this rebellion. I was with high fever for the next three days. I couldn't get up from my bed. And I even considered postponing and canceling my attendance to the week long. So Saturday night, two in the morning, I woke up with high fever and I said, I decided I'm going to put a Dr. Joe's meditation. And while I was doing this meditation, I got this sense of clarity. Like if I am going to heal, if I'm going to be healed of something so severe as a cancer, I would not limit myself. I felt that this was all about trust and certainty 
beyond any symptom, any illness. I was going to go there to be healed. And I started nurturing and loving my body as, as if it was my newborn child. Right here, everything started to change. During those walking meditations uh, in the beach, I did receive and I was aware that I was in a body of a woman of, that was only 30 years old. And I was being that and I was feeling like that and I was walking as a 30-year-old woman, healthy and with the whole life in front of her. So I, after that walking meditation, I showed up in front of my team, in front of everyone around, like, hey, meet my new body. I am 30 years old. I live in a healthy body, and I am perfect. In the meditation before the coherence healing, I started feeling unknown things, like an electric shock in my breast, uh, someone pulling my finger, and I even comes this image, this hologram of a uh, clear and clean mammography. And so uh, right before the coherent healing where I was supposed to be a Healy, I just totally like broke down. I couldn't stop my tears coming out. It was like the moment of truth. It was the moment that I have been expecting and I just knew that I had to surrender to that moment and to those expectations because this was the moment between life and death. I have heard that everybody feels something during those coherence healings except me. I didn't feel anything and I just, I remember I grabbed my body like if it was this naughty little kid like ungrateful and look you didn't take you didn't receive anything from them you just missed it you spoiled everything that was my relationship in that moment with my body so um when i get back to bogota i just wanted some time to cool down to like leave my body to rest and then three weeks later, I went to take the new exam. And I did this mammography. And then the doctor that read the mammography told me, you don't have nothing. I don't see anything here, but please go to do the echo. And then when I went there, the doctor there tells me, well, go and tell your doctor that he has a patient that is totally clean. And I couldn't believe what I was hearing. In that moment, I felt that my heart was about to explode in emotion. I was, because I was always telling myself I was not good enough. A healing, that's not for me. And so I ran out of the, of the uh, clinic. I hugged my son, crying, and he thought the exams were showing some bad news, but then I said, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I am healed. So my message is, you are all worthy to give yourself this opportunity. You are all worthy to choose yourself. 